Hello everyone, and welcome back to episode 36 of my Trails in the Sky playthrough. We just finished up chapter 1. We just finished up in the Bose region. Um, I literally stopped it at the screen in between chapters. So we're going to start chapter 2 today and kind of see where that adventure takes us. And that's about the gist of the Sky Bandit incident that occurred in Northern Liberal. And to think that the bankrupt Kapua family drifted all the way down here. You might be contacted by Liberal regarding the incident, so deal with it as you see fit. Yeah, it turns out I wasn't able to meet him in the end. It seems like something else must have come up. Also, the connection with the Sky Bandit incident is still unknown, but it's clear that another power is at work here. No, it's not like that at all. I've also become acquainted with an interesting bunch. The food's great, and there are babes everywhere. This is unquestionably my kind of country. Maybe I'll just take up permanent residence here while I'm at it. Alright, alright, there's no need to throw a fit. Anyway, see what else you can find out. Just don't get caught looking into things by the Chancellor. I'll contact you again, my dear friend. <laughs> I love messing with that guy. It's just so stuffy and uptight that I can't help myself. A portable phone, huh? Well, aren't you carrying around quite the nifty gadget? Sh Shira! And the fact that you're carrying around an ornament that even the Zeiss Central Factory couldn't create. Well, how about you tell me who you really are? Come on, Shira, don't treat me like I'm some kind of stranger. I mean, you sort of are. <laughs> they really don't know anything about you yet, to be honest. I'm Olivier Lenheim, the wandering bard and gifted musician you've come to adore. But if you'd like to get to know me better, I'm sure we could arrange something. A little pillow talk, perhaps? How about we skip the foreplay and go straight to the climax? Your cheap antics don't fool me, Olivier. Or should I call you... Mr. Erebonian operative. <gasps> dun dun dun. <laughs> Looks like the title Silver Streak isn't just for show. So I guess you were pretending that you didn't notice in front of Estelle and Joshua, huh? I don't want to worry those two any more than they already are. So back to the subject at hand. Why don't you start talking? Who are you and what are you doing in the Liberal? Before that, I'm going to have to correct you on two points. First off, these cheap antics, as you call them, are totally natural. I'm not play-acting or anything, that's just who I am. Truth! <laughs> oh, I'm sure. So do you mean to tell me that you drank that wine without paying just because you felt like it? And after that, being taken to the Hawken Gate so you could gather information was all a part of the plan? And you even set yourself up to run into us? I don't think so. <laughs> I'll leave that part up to your imagination. The other thing I must correct you on is that this device is not an ornament. It's an artifact which was unearthed in the Empire. It can piggyback off any orbital communications system, and its transmissions can be encrypted, so there's no worry about them being intercepted. It comes in handy for a busy man such as myself. An artifact. Like one of the sacred relics the Septian Church has stewardship over? Now I'm all the more curious to know what you're after. Oh, no, 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 Shira. You should never try to pry into the secrets of a mysterious beauty all at once. How would you like to get to know a real woman? I'd be more than willing to show you with my wit. Shira, I don't see any humor in those eyes. Well, jokes aside, you really should have just been straightforward from the beginning. As you have already figured out, my position is like that of an operative in the Empire but I have no intention of sabotaging anything or stealing classified information. I merely came here to meet a certain someone. A certain someone? Cassius Bright, obviously. Yes, someone you know all too well. The one lauded as a supreme swordsman and master strategist by the Royal Army. The Bracer with a special title belonging to but four people throughout the whole of the entire continent.
The Divine Blade. Cassius Bright is the one I seek. Oh, Divine Blade. Okay. I've met one other one. I think. Madrigal of the White Magnolia. Interesting. I might have screwed something up, though. I thought of that yesterday after I stopped recording. I never unequipped the ring from Olivier, so I don't know if I still have it, which means I might not be able to turn it in for that quest. I don't know if he took it with him or if it like automatically unequipped stuff from him, so we'll have to see. <laughs> Let's see. If we're going to travel around the entire kingdom, then our next destination is the Ruan region. I wonder which route we should take to get there. About that. So you're really not planning on using an airliner? I think it's going to be quite the detour if we head there on foot. You remember what Shira said, right? We need to walk and actually see the places we protect first. Or was it Dad who said that? Well, I guess since we have some time on our hands, it wouldn't be a bad thing to head there on foot. You could save the money it would cost to use an airliner. Great idea! We can use the money we saved to go shopping at the Bose Market. After all, we didn't have the time to spend shopping around leisurely during the whole Sky Bandit mess. And then we could leave after that. So what do you think? I don't care either way, but try not to waste too much money. Just so you know, in order to enter the Ruan region, we'll need to go through the Crone Pass to the west. Once you're done shopping, let's leave through the west gate. Okay, the west gate, right? Okay. So it hasn't said that I missed it yet. It's still open, but I don't know if I have it in my items. Ooh, I do. Okay. Because it took the bear assault off him, too. And it took- okay, yeah, it unequipped the things from him and Shira, because I have her scorpion and his bear assault, too. So the jewel ring is still here, which means I can turn in that quest. <laughs> Who's it? Luana. Launa? I don't know how you pronounce that name. Okay, that's where I am. That was, uh... I can't think of the word I want. The port thing. The airport. I don't know which person she was, so I'm just gonna walk around until I can find her. And then I'll check um, the stores and stuff too to make sure I have decent equipment. I think I have the best that was available here. Ah! Found her! Is there something I can help you with? Actually, we found a ring that looks like that looks something like the one mentioned in the job request at the guild. If we could, we'd like to have you take a look at it. Really? Truly? Oh, who would have ever thought this would have come back to me like this? So there is no doubt that this is the ring that was stolen? No, this is the one that was stolen, all right. It was a memento from my mother. I would know it anywhere. I see. It must be really important to you then, right? I had almost believed that I would never see it again. I don't know how I can ever repay you for finding this. I'm just glad we could help. So I guess our work here is done. Unless there's something else? No, that's all. And once again, thank you for finding this for me. Well then, if that's all, we'll leave you to your business. Have a nice day! Oh, thank god. I was really worried I was gonna miss that side quest. <laughs> it, like, terrifies me, thinking that I'm gonna miss a side quest. But I gotta remember to report it to the guild first. And there shouldn't be anything else. Yeah, I did all of them for this area. <laughs> I got stuck in the corner right next to the door. <laughs> I'm so good at this. Um, and you had 
Yeah, you had a book, but I already bought it. I know I bought one of those earlier. I don't remember if I bought this. I know I bought the floral jelly. Because that I think I still have in my inventory. Oh, the red scarf is nice, but kind of expensive. a couple of all of those, so don't worry about that right now. Aged miso. I don't even know. I don't even have the recipe it's used in. For a lot of these, I don't. Oh, I should probably get some of these. recovery items. Buy one of those. Um, I only have one, so we'll buy a couple more. I almost never use them, which is kind of silly because I tend to run out of EP. I don't think I have too badly in this game yet. Okay, I'm gonna go down to the Orbal Factory because I'm sure there's stuff I can do there. If nothing else, I might be able to unlock a slot or two. But I think I already bought the best stuff at the um, arms shop. she needs. Shoot. Um, but I can trade something, I think. Oh no, it just trades it in the Sabbath, that's right. Um. Wow, I have a lot of attack one. Probably don't need that many. I have one of those in my inventory. Okay, so let's see here. I opened this one for her. Is the one that breaks. Um, adding Ariel might not be that bad. Poison wouldn't be that bad either. Yeah, what the heck. I can always unequip them too. I wanna get myself all situated before I go into the next area.
but I have some stuff I can probably sell. Those were Joshua's weapons, and I know I don't need the Blitz and the Needler anymore. Scorpion and Barasol were the best. And I don't need five pairs of Holy Boots. <laughs> I'll keep one pair just because I can. I don't think I need the leather jackets, but I think they're the ones that Olivia and Shira were wearing that I just unequipped. I can do that. And that actually gives me a decent amount of money for those. For a few of them at least. Okay, I don't think there's anything else I wanted to check before I left. I could walk around and talk to all the citizens again, but that just takes so much time, especially in a place like Bose. There's so many citizens. Yeah, this is the one that goes all the way to Crone Gate. guys are a waste of time. It will not give me any reasonable experience. Ooh. Almost walked right into that bird. Okay, that's the revenue. I don't want to go that way. There's a sad lack of chests on these maps. I always want more. Makes me happy discovering new chests, even if they're relatively useless. actually kill it. I'm really sad I was <laughs> hoping that would kill it. I know you guys told me how to kill it before, but I don't remember. I think it had to be a critical hit. I don't remember what you said. I know you told me. that are weak to water. I want Shira and Olivier back. <laughs> Do that much damage. I got used to having the four of them in my party, now I'm back to just these two. Oh god. Didn't see that guy at all.
Man, it looks like we finally made it. So is that building supposed to be the checkpoint? It seems like it to me. Once we pass through there, we'll be in the Ruan region. But unfortunately, it's almost sundown. Maybe we should ask them to let us stay here for the night. I guess we could do that. We've also got the option to hurry down through the pass and rest at an inn at the foot of the mountains, right? Crossing through the pass at night, at night would be dangerous. With our field of vision limited, we'd be on bad footing. There's also the possibility we could fall off a cliff if we were attacked by nocturnal monsters. I wouldn't recommend it. You're right. I guess it could be pretty dangerous. It looks like all we can do is explain our situation to the soldiers at the checkpoint. Well, this is unusual. We don't get many travels at this hour. Did you get lost hiking along the trail? No, not exactly. We're bracers, just so you know. <laughs> just... Humble brag. Wow, I'm surprised to see that someone your age is a bracer. So are you here with work then? No, actually, we're traveling around the kingdom to become senior bracers. And so we figured we'd travel on foot to get in some training instead of using an airliner. You're going to travel around the whole kingdom on foot? Maybe it has to do with being young, but kids are certainly fired up these days. <laughs> Maybe that's a bit of an overstatement. But I'm going to have to tell you that trying to head down through the pass now would be suicide. Recently, we've had an untold number of monsters appearing in the area. It's quite peculiar, really. We've got a rest stop for travelers, so it would be best to stay there for the night. Sweet, thanks a bunch. This will really help us out a lot. Don't mention it. Just talk to the chief warrant officer when you're ready to hit the sack. He's in the guard station straight ahead. Okay, and I finished up all of these. Everything's reported. I have no reason not to continue. Since this place is at such a high altitude, it gets really cold after dark. Oh. Thanks for your help? Huh? What are you kids doing hiking at a time like this? It's pretty cold out there, huh? Are you not the person I was supposed to talk to? <laughs> it's almost time for me to go on duty. I'd better hurry up and eat while I can. There we go, Chief Warrant Officer. <laughs> huh? And you are... We apologize for intruding at this hour, but we were actually wondering... Estelle tried to make her eyes as large and yearning as she could in the hopes of scoring some free food as well. <laughs> I see. Well, that's no problem. I can see from the emblem that you're bracers. Feel free to use the room next to here. We really appreciate this, sir. No free food for you. So this is the room for travelers, huh? Yeah, let's get that fireplace on, shall we? Ah, <sighs> so nice and warm. But you know, wood stoves just feel so much more cozy than these things. Yeah, I agree. Ordnance stoves may heat up quickly, and they're certainly efficient. They can't compare with the feel of a real wood-burning stove. True, but these ones are much easier to use. Idle chatter. Hey, I'm sorry to bother you. I heard from the chief that you'll be staying the night. If you need anything for dinner, we'll be happy to share what we have with you if you'd like. Really? That would be wonderful, thanks. No worries. After the airliners went into service, the number of travelers coming through here drastically decreased. Honestly, with all the free time we've got, we welcome any guests coming through here. Well, in that case, we'll really make sure to eat up. Alright then, give us a little time to get supper in order. And, uh, full disclosure here, I think it's Usher's night to cook, so I hope your stomachs aren't delicate. Well, they're used to Estelle's cooking, so it's fine. There sure was a lot of rivalry going on over the Sky Bandit incident, but there are quite a few nice soldiers once you start to talk to them on a personal level. Yeah, that's true. Although, I think the Burl is probably about the only place you're going to find nice soldiers. Huh? What do you mean by that? Don't take me too seriously. I was just thinking out loud. In the meantime, let's put our bags down somewhere.
Oh man, I'm so stuffed. They said not to expect much, but the food was pretty good, don't you think? Yeah, it was uh, certainly like nothing I've ever had before. Excuse me for disturbing you. Oh, sir, the meal is delicious. Thanks so much. Yes, thank you. Really? You must have taste buds of iron, too. I, I mean, I'm glad to hear that you enjoyed it. Anyway, we've had another guest arrive, so if it's not too much trouble, could you two share the same room? Another guest? In the middle of the night like this? They must have some serious guts to be hiking around in the mountains at this hour. But no, we don't mind. It's not like we're paying to stay here either. I really appreciate that. He's actually in the same line of work as both of you, so I'm sure you'll get along just fine- Agate! The same line of work? <laughs> I knew I'd seen you two somewhere before. You're... The Heavy Blade Agate. Oh, so you know each other already, huh? By the way, Agate, what do you plan to do about dinner? I appreciate the invitation, but I had something before coming up here. All I need is somewhere to crash for the night. Understood. Go ahead and divide up the beds amongst yourselves. I mean, there's three beds and three of us, so we're good. Now, if I remember right, weren't you Cassius's kids? What are you doing sleeping in a place like this? And what happened to Shirazard? Shira returned to Roland. Now it's just the two of us traveling together. We're thinking of making our way around the kingdom in order to become senior bracers. We're going to see the places we want to protect and train so that we can do just that. Senior bracers? Traveling the entire kingdom on foot? You two are really a bunch of carefree brats, aren't you? What did you just call us? There's no way the two of you are going to simply become senior bracers. Use your brains and think about it for a moment. Say what you want, but we helped in the arrest of the Sky Bandits. And we've even got some recommendations, so quit treating us like we're a bunch of kids. Oh, that? I heard all about it from Old Man Lugrin. Alright, let me put it to you this way. Suppose you had been the only ones there. Do you think you could have solved the incident? You- just you two alone, without Shirazard's help? Well... I think it would have been very difficult. That's pretty obvious when you think about it, huh? You two are newbies and little brats, to say the least. Not to mention you're lacking in strength and experience. You don't have the ability to make quick, sound judgments. Yeah, that's why they're training! That's kind of the purpose of getting better. <laughs> this guy's a jerk. I don't like it. If you get all caught up in yourselves and forget that, one of these days you're going to get the rug pulled out from under you. We're not all caught up in ourselves. How about yourself, Mr. Macho Man? What were you thinking trying to hike through the pass at this hour of the night? You're either plain careless, or maybe that bandana is just a little too tight. Watch your mouth, brat. I'm trying to hone my skills, unlike you amateurs. And besides, I'm here for work. Don't try and compare my actions with your tourist training. Work? For the guild? Yeah, that's right. The work your old man forced on me. Huh? Dad pushed his work onto you? Forget about it. I've got an early day ahead of me, so I need to get some rest. You two quit talking and get some sleep, too. Ah, he just avoided finishing the conversation! Well, he did drop a tidbit about Dad. That's something, at least. Enough already, you two. Just shut the hell up and let me sleep. And you'd better stop poking around where you shouldn't, or you're gonna get burned. Instead, why don't you get your behinds over to Ruan and do some jobs listed on the bulletin board? That's far better suited for the likes of you. I mean, that was the plan. It looks like he's asleep, and just as quickly as someone I know. Don't you dare even suggest that I'm anything like this jerk. What's his deal, anyway? It seems to me like all he's trying to do is pick a fight. Relax, Estelle. It's true we're still just novices at this. It could be that he just said that to us because he was worried about us. Do you really think so, Joshua? I wish I could say for sure, but I don't know. But he definitely did get one thing right. We should turn in for the night. We've still got to hike down through the, through the pass tomorrow. I'm all riled up now, but I guess there's nothing to be done about it. Unless we doodle on this jerk's face and then go to sleep. I'm pretty sure he wouldn't wake up with the way he's snoring. 
Don't even think about it. Sorry to keep you waiting. I'm ready to take over for you. Oh, is it that time already? It really makes me wonder if anyone needs to stand guard with nobody coming through here. Don't you think it'd be better if we just kept the gate locked up all night? Unfortunately, rules are rules, and it's our job to follow them. We just got over the Sky Bandit mess, and now things seem to be going downhill. What's the matter? Did you hear something? It sounds like some rustling leaves. You sure it's not just the wind? What the? A pack of wolves? You've got to be kidding me! What was that? Sounds like something's going on. I'm going to check it out. You two stay here. I was not expecting this. Now you just wait a minute! I think we'd better go see for ourselves, just in case. Of course that's what we should do. You know what? I'm gonna be evil. And we're gonna end this episode right here, so you'll have to tune in to the next one in order to find out what happens with the pack of wolves. I'm gonna be a brat like that. Thank you guys so much for watching it. I hope you enjoyed. In chapter 37, we will go check out what's going on there and head down the Crone Pass. Hope you guys have a wonderful day, and I'll catch you next time.